thing in my head, and I thought, why don't I just talk to you people? <laughs> you know? Do you think JFK's I Have a Dream speech or MLK's Let's Go to the Moon speeches were prepared? <laughs> Just like, fuck it, I'm gonna rip. So this is what I'm telling you guys. I'm not gonna do anything at you and try to make you laugh. I'm gonna try to make you understand something because if I came up here to tell you why dinner is better, oh, we bore with a silver spoon in your mouth. Have you always been into dinner? Well, then why would you listen to me? I used to be exclusively a breakfast person. Take it in. <laughs> I'm not saying that breakfast was my favorite meal. I was saying it's the only thing I ate all day. This was during a time before I had started therapy. I thought living in a room with three people was fun. I was in college. I thought wearing oversized flannel shirts with shorts with long underwear underneath those shorts was cool. <laughs> I smoked cigarettes in the morning, in bed, with my coffee. Then I would go to breakfast. And at the time, you could smoke indoors, and I would smoke while eating breakfast. And then one day I realized, I love myself. <laughs> and I want to treat myself better than this. If you can smoke with a meal, how good is it anyway? <laughs> think of all the movies you've seen, and don't try too hard to think of them, but they're there. All the movies where people are smoking while eating breakfast. Famous paintings, people at diners, Lauren Marilyn Monroe, James Dean and Elvis. They're all smoking and eating eggs. They don't, that's how much they don't care about eggs. They put their secret butts out in the eggs. That's from an outtake of the painting that is at a museum that you probably don't go to because you live here. You don't go to the museums because you're smoking. <laughs> You never see cigarettes put out in, as in asparagus. <laughs> but let me just get to something. I came here from Los Angeles just to talk to you about this. <laughs> I owned this skirt, I put it in my suitcase. I wasn't gonna wear it because I didn't really feel like I had anything that made it fun. And today, um, I woke up late, because I had stayed up till 5 a.m. last night. And I woke up, and it was so late for a massage, that I said, I don't fucking have time to eat anything. And guess what happened? Nothing. Because you don't have to eat when you get up. You haven't done anything, so there's no need to refuel. I walked to my massage on the fuel that I've been putting in my body for 39 years. There's plenty of food still digesting. I'm fine. I got rubbed down. I took a walk. And I went into Topshop and I saw this headband. And I thought, holy fucking shit. It's the same blue as my skirt. I brought the skirt on blind faith that something would make me want to wear it. And I saw a fucking headband that matched it. And I went, I'll throw some yellow in it too. And sure, I look mentally ill. <laughs> but my point about it is I can wear this outfit to dinner. This is a dinner outfit. You see me and you're like, it's funky. Yeah, she got a bottle of wine for herself. Her friend doesn't drink anymore. She doesn't give a shit. You see this outfit at breakfast? Oh boy, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Don't sit near that woman. Dinner is for grown-ups who want to wear nice things. Sure, I love breakfast. Again, when I was wearing underwear under shorts. You don't have to, most people at breakfast, if you look at the people standing on sidewalks, because you, they don't make reservations for breakfast, because they don't trust anyone will show up. You never know what you're going to do. Like myself, you could sleep till one and miss the whole thing completely. So you see people on the sidewalks, the people that did get out of bed, 
But they got out of bed, and that was the only thing they did so far that day. They got out of bed. They didn't shower. So you're seeing people who, if you pulled their pants down and took a whiff, would have yesterday's crust in their underwear from whatever bodily fluid, whether we are talking about, these are things we all go through, whether it is some kind of a discharge, some kind of a urine, some kind of a boo-boo. But they haven't showered yet. Now, here's the thing. With dinner, you know there will be possibly a chance for sex, right? And then, yes, if you dine alone as a woman, you can get it in the bathroom from a waiter. In the morning, if you have breakfast with your lover, how good is your relationship really? Maybe that's why you love breakfast so much, because it's an avoidance. Let's go to breakfast! Let's go! You wake up, let's go eat! You're not hungry. You're just not satiated. So you go to breakfast with your lover and you have, what do you have, coffee? And according to a doctor I called, coffee is a diuretic. It causes frequent urination. It gets things moving in the digestive system. And then you have to uh, dispense of it via uh, going number two. So there's definitely not going to be sex after that unless you want to go back and have fart-ridden sex in your home, but you don't want to do that. And how could you do that? Who has breakfast and then goes back home? You have to go to work. See, now, I want you to be, you have all been fooled tonight because you're thinking of brunch, aren't you? We're not talking about brunch. We're talking about breakfast. And that is not fair. You cannot bring brunch into this. That's a whole nother thing. And it says so on the the websites and the, if you go to encyclopedias. <laughs> Breakfast is something you do quickly in the morning. And you dread your day. You still have to deal with so many people at that point. The boss you hate, the woman at work, the man at work, the fact that you don't have work. Dinner, dinner is, ah, oh, it's all over for today. And I have, you could sit at dinner at six, you go to, go to dinner at 6, it's 11 p.m., you could still be sitting there. They love to have you. You're spending more and more money. You try to go to breakfast at 7 a.m. and sit there till 11, can't. Turning over the tables, marrying ketchup, it's time for lunch. You have to go. <laughs> breakfast is America, fast food, drive through oh, my gun. Dinner is elegance, it's European. Chill out, what's the rush? What don't you get about life? It's not just time and your boss and punch in and punch out. If you want to live that way, fine, do it. But are you living? <laughs> you can still have coffee at dinner if you want to, by the way. It's a great way to sober up before you drive home. <laughs> if you don't drive, it's a great way to just sober up. <laughs> dinner is also amazing because of the lighting. The windows can be open. Like, the shades can be open. And no light is coming in and showing perhaps some premature melasma, which is a rash, a hormonal rash that older women get. Sometimes you get it at 39 for no reason. And your, and your date says, why is there discoloration on your face? You're not pregnant. And you say, I don't know. I didn't know you could see it when I put on my makeup in the dark in the bathroom. And now the sun is right here as we're sitting at breakfast. Maybe you got onset adult acne in your 20s and had no idea how much a candlelight could save your life. <laughs> Try to light a candle at breakfast. The sun will blow it the fuck out. <laughs> Guess where you never have to go after having dinner? Church. <laughs> Where the sinners go, it's basically like going to a prison, it's fun. 